Well, today was a very cold and December like day with temperatures only getting into the middle and upper 30s across the area. So it was a very cold day, but not too unusual for December standards. Now we are going to be expecting to see mainly dry conditions as we head through the overnight hours with clear skies and temperatures are also going to be falling back into the 20s. Now we're going to be looking at a breeze coming in out of the south through the overnight hours and that's going to prevent our temperatures from falling into the lower 20s and upper teens. So if we can maintain that breeze, we're probably only going to bottom out around 26 to 28 degrees for our overnight lows. We're going to maintain mostly clear skies heading through the overnight hours and then for tomorrow morning as you're waking up, it's not going to be quite as cold tomorrow as it was this morning with temperatures around 30 degrees as you're heading out the door. But we are going to be seeing a good blend of sun and clouds and then we're really going to be on tap for a really nice day tomorrow with temperatures taking a run at the 50s. So it's going to be mild for December. Now, as we head through the rest of the evening hours for tomorrow, we're going to look at mainly clear skies once again, and temperatures will fall back down into the 30s by this time tomorrow. So it won't be quite as cold in 24 hours from now. Taking a look at the temperature profile with your 24, it looks like temperatures will hold steady overnight in the middle to upper 20s with that breeze coming in out of the south. And then once the sun comes up, these temperatures are going to climb very quickly into the lower 50s and we'll maintain a good blend of sun and clouds through the majority of the day. And then once the sun goes down, we'll see temperatures once again fall back down into the 30s for the overnight. Now, as we take a look at our current conditions, we're currently sitting at 30 degrees, which is actually about four degrees warmer than we were just a few hours ago. And that's because we had a calm wind around six o'clock this evening. And now we have a breeze coming in out of the southwest at nine miles per hour. So that has actually ushered in some milder air from the south. Mild being a selective word because it's still 30 degrees. It's still cold, but we do have a wind chill right now of 22 degrees, but we have seen the temperatures climb a couple of degrees. And if we can maintain that breeze, we won't see temperatures fall all that much more as we head through the overnight hours. As we take a look at our temperatures across the area, we're sitting at 32 in Boston, 28 in Worcester, 26 right now over in Westfield, and 41 down to New Haven. Satellite and radar, we're looking at mainly clear skies, and we are going to continue to see that as we have high pressure dominating our weather pattern for the next couple of days, really. So for today, we had, uh, keep in mind, high pressure clockwise rotation. So today we had breezes coming in out of the northwest and that is what ushered in the colder temperatures for today. For tomorrow we're going to start to see this high pressure slide a little bit more offshore and that will change the wind direction for us coming in out of the south ushering in that milder air and that's why we're going to see temperatures near 50 tomorrow. We're going to maintain mostly clear skies through your day on Friday, even into Saturday as well as high pressure continues to linger just a little bit offshore. And then we are going to be looking at a bit of some cloudiness as we head into the day on Sunday as we're tracking an area of low pressure, which is going to be our next weather maker. Similar to last Sunday night, we're watching an area of low pressure tap into some moisture in the Gulf, and this is going to travel up the coast and give us the chance for some steady to heavy rain late on Sunday night and into the day on Monday. We can be looking at some gusty winds right now, and of course, we could also be getting a good soaking, about one to two inches of rain as possible. But of course, that is still several days out, and we will have to continue to narrow down those details. But in the short term, definitely get out and enjoy the milder temperatures of both today, or both of Friday, I should say, and on Saturday. On Sunday, we'll be looking like a mainly dry day, but we'll see increasing clouds throughout the day, and then showers will begin in the evening. Monday looking like a rainy and windy day with highs in the 50s. And then we could see a few lingering showers as we head into the day on Tuesday, with the remainder of the week trending dry and seasonable with temperatures in the 30s and 40s.